a visit to the Island Wildlife Care Center. I just received a charming book. It's beautiful, it's stunning. It's a compilation of the many beautiful faces that you'll find at Island Wildlife Natural Care Center on Salt Spring Island in British Columbia, Canada. And if you just <laughs> take a glance, take a look at this little harbor seal pup who's sucking on a pacifier. Well, it's at the Wildlife Center that founder Jeff Letterman and his staff passionately care for the orphaned, sick, and injured wildlife that comes to them every season. But it's the dozens of harbor seal pups they rescue every year that make them one of the leading wildlife centers in North America. Next, we're going to take you to this unbelievable place to meet the dedicated people and the amazing creatures whose lives they save. We get calls from the public that they have seen a seal on a beach somewhere or they think is in trouble. And we have a volunteer helicopter pilot who graciously helps us out whenever we need him. And I think because of this quick rescue with the helicopter, we're able to save more seals. We have a really high survival rate with our seal pups. Um, I think it's due in large part to our hands-on 24-hour care and in large part to um, our alternative approach to medicine. We put 80 or 90% of our seal pups back into the wild again, healthy and strong. We're the only wildlife center in all of Canada that does year-round rescue and um, rehabilitation of marine mammals. And we're probably the busiest harbor seal center in North America. Jeff Letterman founded Island Wildlife seven years ago with the belief that alternative practices such as homeopathy could only help heal injured wildlife. I discovered that an animal is an animal, whether a human or a seal or a bird, and what stimulates the immune system in a human will stimulate the immune system and the healing process in an animal. Homeopathic remedies are made from natural substances such as animals and plants and minerals, and they are diluted an infinitesimal amount of times. I'm preparing a homeopathic remedy for a great horned owl that has a severe head trauma from being hit by a car. And we just squirt a little bit in under the tongue and it gets absorbed in the capillaries inside of the mouth. And that will help reduce some of the bruising and absorb some of the bleeding and ease some pain. I care for all of the animals equally. I, there's a special place in my heart for harbor seal pups. When they first arrive, orphan seal pups are quarantined in a high-tech isolation facility. These seal pups come in from a very polluted ocean and they have some very severe viruses and bacteria that if allowed, it would spread throughout the pup population here. So each tub is actually a little isolation environment and nothing, um, our gowns, our gloves, the hoses we use, the feeding utensils, never go from one tub to the next. Most of the little pups that come in here that have lost their mothers are very close to death and these young pups aren't able to thermoregulate, aren't able to maintain their temperature because of that lack of blubber. So we keep them in here under heating lamps and we're able to keep these um, pups safe and dry and warm. Now, we tube feed them about every four hours, and this is what we're about to do with this little pup here. The tube is run directly down into the stomach, and the pups really don't mind the tube. And then we gently administer the formula. This pup is about, um, I would say, four weeks old. Um, he's still not even up to birth weight yet, which is about 22 to 24 pounds. He normally would be nursing off his mother till he's about 55 pounds. The seal pup formula is made from a very special recipe. The main ingredient, ground herring, of course. And then from the grinder, we put it into a blender with a number of other ingredients, such as greens plus, electrolytes, a heavy dose of salmon oil, a lot of vitamins, and herbal tinctures that stimulate the immune system. Mary, our seal rehabilitator, is doing a hand feeding of fish for accordion here. They take fish mesh for a number of weeks, and then we slowly get them adjusted to whole fish. And sometimes it takes a little bit of coaxing, and then they start just sucking them down very, very much on their own. Mary is one of our full-time staff members. We have a small paid staff here and a large crew of summer interns that come from universities all over the world. Each year, hundreds apply for seasonal internships at Island Wildlife, and only 10 are chosen. They come and they spend two months at a time at the center. They, they live on the center and they work about 16 hours a day, six days a week. You work all day and all night and then you fall into bed and then you get up in the morning again and you do it all over. It, it's quite a great learning experience for everybody. Most people have fallen in love with some animal here. I don't think anybody leaves here untouched. Amy is our wildlife rehabilitator and right now she's in love with a pair of baby beavers. Come on, beef. Come on. Come on. These little guys have definitely 
made my summer. I've had them for two months and uh, it's been quite a joy watching them grow and, and uh, they're absolutely fascinating animals and I feel like it's quite a privilege to have been able to, to raise them. Jeff also designed all the animal enclosures on the property. Our flight cage is one of our more successful enclosures. It's 110 feet long and a bird can exercise the full length of the enclosure. And from this very large flight cage, they go to being released back into the world. Hey, Castanet, ready for the pool? When seal pups demonstrate proper weight gain and improved health, they're transferred to the outdoor pools. The pools that we're using here are, are actually freshwater pools. And we pump in lake water. It goes through sand filters and ultraviolet filtration, so it's really quite clean. It's important to maintain a clean habitat for the seal pups. A seal on the average costs from rescue to release about $1,000 a seal. Last summer, we purchased about 50,000 pounds of frozen herring. That's 25 tons. All of our funding comes from just fundraising projects, private donations. We don't get any government grants. We, we rely on the generosity of, of the public. Well, these are some of our older, healthier seal pups. Some of them are hand feeding, and some of them are just free feeding in the water where we throw the fish in and they feed on their own, and that's the final step before they get released. Then it's just a matter of them getting their weight up to about 55, 60 pounds, and they go back to the ocean. All of the pups that you've seen since you've been here would be dead had they not come into a wildlife center like this one. We're their only chance for survival. We don't kid ourselves here into thinking that we're, we're saving an endangered species or saving a habitat or anything. Um, what we are doing is saving individual lives. And what we do for an orphan seal pup on a beach means everything to that animal. To learn more about Island Wildlife Natural Care Center or to help save a seal pup, log on to sealrescue.org. And to find out more about British Columbia, go to 